What? Heat index values of 95 to 104 degrees. Where? Portions of northwestern Connecticut, western Massachusetts, eastern New York, and southern Vermont. When? Until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. Impacts, hot temperatures and high humidity may cause heat illnesses. Drink plenty of fluids, stay in an air-conditioned room, stay out of the sun, and check up on relatives and neighbors. Take extra precautions when outside. Wear lightweight and loose-fitting clothing. Try to limit strenuous activities to early morning or evening. Take action when you see symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. What? Heat index values up to 95 degrees. Where? Western Green, Western Ulster, Hamilton, Northern Fulton, and Northern Herkimer counties. When? Until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. Impacts? Hot temperatures and high humidity may cause heat illnesses. Drink plenty of fluids, stay in an air-conditioned room, stay out of the sun, and check up on relatives and neighbors. Take extra precautions when outside. Wear lightweight and loose-fitting clothing. Try to limit strenuous activities to early morning or evening. Take action when you see symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. What? For the first heat advisory, heat index values up to 100. For the second heat advisory, heat index values up to 100 to expect it. For the excessive heat watch, dangerously hot conditions with heat index values up to 100 when possible. Where? In Connecticut, Hartford, Connecticut, and Tallinn, Connecticut counties. In Massachusetts, Central Middlesex, Massachusetts, Southeast Middlesex, Massachusetts, Western Norfolk, Massachusetts, Western Essex, Massachusetts, Eastern Franklin, Massachusetts, Eastern Hampton, Massachusetts, and Eastern Hampshire, Massachusetts counties. When? For the first heat advisory, until 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. For the second heat advisory, from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday. For the excessive heat watch, from Thursday morning through Friday evening. Impacts, heat-related illnesses increase significantly during extreme heat and high humidity events. Drink plenty of fluids, stay in an air-conditioned room, stay out of the sun, and check up on relatives and neighbors. What? Heat index values up to 99. Where? Portions of northern Connecticut, central, eastern, northeastern, and western Massachusetts, and northern Rhode Island. When? Until 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Friday. Impacts. Hot temperatures and high humidity may cause heat illnesses. Drink plenty of fluids. Stay in an air-conditioned room. Stay out of the sun and check up on relatives and neighbors. What? Heat index values 95 to 100. Where? Northern Fairfield and Northern New Haven counties. When? Until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. Impacts. Hot temperatures and high humidity may cause heat illnesses. A heat advisory is issued when the combination of heat and humidity is expected to make it feel like it is 95 to 99 degrees for two or more consecutive days, or 100 to 104 degrees for any length of time. Seniors and those with chronic health problems or mental health conditions are at an increased risk. Homes without air conditioning can be much hotter than outdoor temperatures. Use air conditioning to stay cool at home or go to a place that has air conditioning. If you don't have home air conditioning, continue to seek out cold spaces each day as long as it remains hot and for a few days after if your home is still hot. Check on vulnerable friends, family members and neighbors. To reduce risk during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or air conditioned environments. Anyone overcome by heat should be moved to a cool and shaded location. Heat stroke is an emergency. In cases of heat stroke, call 911. What? What? Heat index values up 95 to 100. Where? Northern Westchester, Orange, Putnam, and Rockland counties. When? Until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. Impacts. 
hot temperatures and high humidity may cause heat illnesses. A heat advisory is issued when the combination of heat and humidity is expected to make it feel like it is 95 to 99 degrees for two or more consecutive days, or 100 to 104 degrees for any length of time. Seniors and those with chronic health problems or mental health conditions are at an increased risk. Homes without air conditioning can be much hotter than outdoor temperatures. Use air conditioning to stay cool at home or go to a place that has air conditioning. If you don't have home air conditioning, continue to seek out cool spaces each day as long as it remains hot and for a few days after if your home is still hot. Check on vulnerable friends, family members and neighbors. To reduce risk during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or air-conditioned environments. Anyone overcome by heat should be moved to a cool and shaded location. Heat stroke is an emergency. In cases of heat stroke, call 911. What? Heat index values of 95 to 100 expected. Where? In New York. Delaware and Sullivan counties. In Pennsylvania, Northern Wayne, Pike, and Southern Wayne counties. When? Until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. Impacts. Hot temperatures and high humidity may cause heat illnesses. Drink plenty of fluids. Stay in an air-conditioned room. Stay out of the sun. And check up on relatives and neighbors. Take extra precautions when outside. Wear lightweight and loose-fitting clothing. Try to limit strenuous activities to early morning or evening. Take action when you see symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. To reduce risk during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or air-conditioned environments. Anyone overcome by heat should be moved to a cool and shaded location. Heat stroke is an emergency. Call 911. What? Heat index values of 95 to 105 expected. Where? All of Vermont and Northern New York. When? Until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. Impacts. Hot temperatures and high humidity may cause heat illnesses. Drink plenty of fluids. Stay in an air-conditioned room. Stay out of the sun. And check up on relatives and neighbors. Take extra precautions when outside. Wear lightweight and loose-fitting clothing. Try to limit strenuous activities to early morning or evening. Take action when you see symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. To reduce risk during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or air-conditioned environments. Anyone overcome by heat should be moved to a cool and shaded location. Heat stroke is an emergency. Call 911. Do not leave young children and pets in unattended vehicles. Car interiors will reach lethal temperatures in a matter of minutes. Indoor temperatures may continue to rise after peak heating hours in poorly ventilated spaces. Those without air conditioning should consider the potential for lingering health impacts while indoors late in the day. Service has issued a heat advisory for the following counties in New York, Broome, Chimam, Chenango, Portland, Madison, Northern Oneida, Onondaga, Otsego, Schuyler, Southern Oneida, Stubay, Tioga, Tompkins, and Yates. Heat advisory remains in effect until 8 p.m. Thursday. What? Heat index values of 100 to 104 expected. Where? A portion of central New York. When? Until 8 p.m. Thursday. Impacts. Hot temperatures and high humidity may cause heat illnesses. Drink plenty of fluids. Stay in an air-conditioned room. Stay out of the sun. And check up on relatives and neighbors. Take extra precautions when outside. Wear lightweight and loose-fitting clothing. Try to limit strenuous activities to early morning or evening. Take action when you see symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. To reduce risk during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or air-conditioned environments. Anyone overcome by heat should be moved to a cool and shaded location. 
acute stroke is an emergency. Call 911. Air quality levels in outdoor air are predicted to be greater than an air quality index value of 100 for ground level ozone. The air quality index, or AQI, was 